Welp, here's another disaster for the old jig. I was going up this old rocky road right here, really rough, and I heard a big thunk crash behind me. Lucky, my motorcycle's gone. My hitch broke. Aluminum hitch, and it snapped off. So that is a problem because I don't know how I'm going to get that back on the hitch. It's always something every day. Watch out for snakes, Jake. It's, it's always something, isn't it? It's terrible. All right, so here's a deal. It's about 5 o'clock in the morning, and I'm going to run into Indio, California, to the Harbor Freight to pick up a, uh, a hitch thingy for my motorcycle uh, that broke off. And it's a, about three and a half hours <laughs> from here. Uh, a lot of us driving through the desert and getting out to a paved road. And uh, once I get down there, pick it up, I should get down there by 8, 9 o'clock and uh, make it back out here, get everything loaded up, then we'll start a new adventure. Lots of moths around here, and I noticed when I was walking around that there's also <laughs> lots of scorpions. I was walking around out there and I kept seeing like little ghost-like objects on the ground moving around. And... Um, then dawned on me they were scorpions so i got out my black light and sure enough <laughs> let's just get out of here man well it's been about an hour and we finally made it to the pavement yeehaw That's a bargain, six eighty nine nine, California. Well, we made it to Harbor Freight. It only took us a little over three hours and about 10 minutes. <laughs> That's one way. So, oh gosh, what a day, huh? Hey, let's go see if the clerk was right and they have one in stock. Whew, it's hot already. All right, so we've got the fancy little carrier for just under $300, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it together here in the parking lot to make sure I have everything. So I got the thing together. It was actually really easy. It looks like it's pretty sturdy. I just followed the instructions. The only tricky part I had was um, this number four here. When you put these hook tubes on, it was it's not clear as to which direction they face. But if you go to the next page, it tells you which direction I face. And that's the only thing I could could possibly have messed up and the directions are very clear, very simple. I did everything with these two tools. I did uh, some vice grips and a wrench. I could have used two wrenchers. I could have used two vice grips. I could have used one of these and a pair of pliers. So it was really easy to put together except for one thing. And I could use the vice grips on this, but I'm gonna go back into the store and actually buy a, a little kit of these because I don't have one in my toolbox and I really should. These things here is really the only thing I could not tighten down easily with those two tools, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna buy a little kit that has multiple things, multiple sizes of those, and they're really cheap. Only gonna cost a couple of dollars. Uh, but I could just take ply, you know, vice grips and put it on here and just clamp it together, and I could get it tight enough for it to work. Other than that, it was really simple, and everything was, um, it's really easy. I'm gonna have to make an adjustment here once I get, get it on the hitch, and I'll tighten that up. This is to keep it from, uh, I guess, <coughs> bouncing up and down like uh, my older one did, and that's why it broke. And the only other thing would be, I may have to adjust this. This is, a, I guess, a wheel chalk. I guess you drive up on it and it flips. Might have too tight. <laughs> I got it too tight. I may have to adjust this to one of these other holes. You know, it just depends on the size of the tire in a bike. That's about it, really, man. It was really quite simple, and it seems to be very sturdy. And I'll let you know how it goes. Uh, I got a lot of a lot of driving yet to do on this trip in the back country. So if it looks like a pretzel in two days, I'm gonna let you know. All right, let me go get a couple things, and then we'll hit the road. And just to finish this up, let me show you what we have. 
first and foremost the pin this pin here would not fit in my receiver because i have a kind of a, a heavy duty one so i had to use a little hammer <laughs> just to get out out to where we're going now normally i use a long bolt with a couple nuts on it and i do have that back at camp uh, it's in the box with my other stuff this is the only tool i had to buy was uh, one of these i highly recommend that you uh if you have a little toolbox in your car or whatever truck to go ahead and pick up a set of these these cost under eight dollars for all of these and it has you know all kinds of different keys on it like allen keys and star keys and stuff like that and these you know if you're an auto mechanic you don't want to probably be using these a lot because they'll break but even if they do break and they will you can take you can just take that piece right there if it's broken off and put your vice grips on it and you can still use it you know you can still use it to turn stuff so i highly recommend those for uh <laughs> this place is like sirens everywhere in the bottom like people look a lot more homeless than me walking around um but anyway easy peasy and this of course goes in here and I'll, I'll get them tightened up right now if you look here you can see the inside of these bolts or nuts rather have a, a plastic washer there uh, so that makes it so that it doesn't back off again when you're you know vibrating going down the road and that's that's really important this is actually the ramp all you have to do is pull the you know the pin out unscrew it use it as a ramp put it back up here and uh actually i like that because i can put my gas can up here now that's a definite improvement seems to be pretty sturdy it doesn't shake as much as uh, the other one did all right that's probably going to be it then um hope you like that little video there wasn't much to it but so far i'm uh, i'm impressed with this at least it's got me out of the bind i constantly find myself in all right let me take that up and tighten those and I'm gonna hit the road jack well we made it over to the other side of the mountain and the bike ran uh rode great no problem whatsoever everything's still tight didn't fall over didn't flop around that much now i really like it i think it's going to work out great all right i'm going to rest a little bit took me all day to take care of this i'm gonna get the bike off of that and go for a ride this evening and maybe about another half hour 45 minutes hope we see you on the next one if you can even see me with the sun in your eyes <laughs> sorry about that